And welcome back everybody, I'm Mr. Controversial himself And I want to thank you for tuning in And uh, I hope you appreciate uh, what that is and what that ain't My outlook on uh, the parenting situation that's going on And young black uh, American families nowadays So uh, if you like what I said or if you agree or disagree Hit me up with a comment at Douglas217CA at AOL.com That's douglas 217 ca at aol.com okay and last but not least i'm gonna talk about what i've been hearing all over the media everywhere i go are the statistics for young black males as you know lots is an abbreviation or acronym for let's overcome the statistics and my statistics are not too uh good because um I'm 27, I'm African American male, and pretty much everything that's bad is pretty much attacking the African American uh, male right now. So I just wanted to um, share some of the statistics that I found about African American males between the ages of 17 to 30. They're most likely to uh, encounter the HIV virus, they're most likely to be killed in a homicide uh, incident by another African American male between the ages of 17 and 30. And that's really fucked up, man. That's like, that's, that's real bad. Uh, they're most likely to uh, serve time in the prison system. Uh, they're most likely to uh, have diabetes. They're most likely to uh, have uh, cancer. They're uh, very high up on the charts for heart attack, stroke, uh, mental institutionalization, and uh, predatory lending, which is a reflection in high interest rates. High interest rates are killing the African American community like a motherfucker. I don't know if y'all know, it's all about your interest rate. When you go buy a car, it's about your interest rate. When you go buy a home, it's about your interest rate. When you go pawn some at the pawn shop, it's about your interest rate. When you uh, go to these um, payday cash lenders, next advanced uh, payday lending things or whatever, it's all about your interest rate. And just because you're black, they're going to charge you a high interest rate, meaning you're going to have a higher monthly payment. And of course, the more money you pay a month, that means more money coming out your pocket. So it's all about your interest rate. So uh, right now, the Federal, the Federal Reserve runs the interest rate. And um, white people are getting an interest rate on home loans around 5.5%. And black people are getting an interest rate around 9%. And that's pretty fucked up. Even the uh, Mexicans, the bean burritos out there, um, they get an interest rate of about 9.5%. It's higher than a black community. So uh, it's all about your interest rate. At the pawn shop, at the car, uh, car loan, people always know what your interest rate is. White people, they all pay an interest rate of pretty much a 6 below, 6% 6 or below. Don't let the 400s have a better interest rate than you. It's not fair. It's called predatory lending, so you want to make sure you know about that. I'm telling you about it. If you want to go buy a car tomorrow, and they say, oh, man, we can get you in this car for $250 a month, ask them what's your interest rate. And they going to say, well, it doesn't matter. It's $250 a month. Say, fuck you. What is my interest rate? If they tell you that your interest rate is 8%, say, White people getting an interest rate of 6%. An interest rate of 8% is going to make your car note be $250 a month. An interest rate of 6%, your car note will be more like $275. You're saving $25 a month that you can spend on whatever you want to do. Go get your hair done, your nails done, smoke a little weed, buy you something to drink. It's all about your interest rate. They say, oh, we got this cash advance until your next payday. Fuck you. What's my interest rate? Oh, well, you can move into this house the next day with no money down. I don't care. What's my interest rate? It's all about your interest rate. So, black America, open your eyes. Make sure the first question you ask when you're going to borrow some money, when you're going to get a loan, what's my interest rate? That's the most important thing. I'm telling you because I love you. And the 400s are getting a better deal than you. And... 
they just fucking the, the niggas and the Mexicans and the big face 50s on interest rate. So make sure you know about your interest rate. Okay, back to the statistics. Predatory lending, I, I just, it's, it's a big thing. I want y'all to know. Even at the pawn shop, if you're a nigga when you go to the pawn shop, when you try to go get your shit back, they charging you a higher interest rate than they charging the 400s. So all them motherfuckers out there that go to the pawn shop, when you go to the pawn shop, ask them what's gonna be my interest rate to get this back. 400s, they're getting charged about 5% right now. So make sure your interest rate is under 5%. Okay, also the statistics, um, child support. We're the highest victim of uh, predatory child support laws, so we need to take care of that. The highest statistics in uh, not starting our own black businesses. I don't understand why we can't say, let's start more black businesses. The Orientals, the 400s, the Big Face 50s, the Beanbury, Need Mestos, Mexicans, they always start this. They put money back in their community, so why in the hell we can't put money back in their And I'll be proud of that. Start your own black bank. Start your, your own car washes, your own grocery stores. Well, I take that back. Grocery stores is pretty hard. Walmart owns all pretty much all the grocery stores. So, But anyway, um, money back into the black community, your community, where you live at. And there's nothing wrong with it. If someone say there's something wrong with it, tell them, uh, okay, the Asians do it. You know, the big face 50s, the white people do it, the 400s. The Mexicans, uh, bean burrito eating people do it. Um, you know, why we can't do it? And be proud of it. Invest in the black community. Hey, I'm Mr. Controversial himself, Carlos Douglas, coming to you live from Dallas, Texas, and I'll see you when you get back. Thanks a lot.